Video game glitches used to be part of gaming, but not anymore. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I guess there are still glitches in video games, but these examples could be considered bugs. But bugs and glitches, it's like splitting hairs. But there are infamous glitches known throughout gaming, such as the Mario 64 stair glitch. Everyone has come across one while playing a game, and it makes sense, due to the number of cells of certain games. If a game sold 10 million copies, then technically that game was played in 10 million different ways, because everyone plays through the game differently. So it would be impossible for developers in the quality control to catch everything. But what about the glitches that are unique to you? The ones you found in games you played recently, or a long time ago? I remember specific examples such as Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. I remember there was a glitch where you fall through the floor and land in a jewelry shop and it would crash your game. In fact, I went back and played the entire game trying to find it again. I went into story mode and I passed the entire story mode. It took me weeks. I mean, you're basically collecting different skate pieces for a skate ranch all over Southern California. And you just come in as a newbie and you got to build up your skills and meet with different pros and do different missions. I mean, there's all these wacky different missions. They had me going to Hollywood and Santa Monica, East LA, downtown LA. I had to collect Paul Rodriguez's all shoes in downtown LA in one mission. The shipment of my brand new shoes flew out and got scattered everywhere. Gotta help me get them back ASAP. Bam Margera farts on a homeless guy in one of the missions. At the end, you gotta escape from all the cops and helicopters and make your way through all the different towns and finally make it back to your skate ranch. And, and I didn't need to do any of that because I found a video with the exact same glitch that I was talking about. So I didn't have to play for weeks and do the entire story mode at all. Like I said, I found this video, but I did the same glitch, but it's not the same. There's no person asking you to buy something and it doesn't crash your game afterwards, but something something was missing. So I figured, hey, maybe I just have to unlock more areas because I went into single player mode and just free skate and I realized I was missing areas. So I thought, okay, well, I passed the story mode. What other maps could there be? Well, it turns out you have to play classic mode. So I played all the different classic mode levels and I passed all of them to unlock all the different areas. And then I found another video with the actual glitch that I remember as a kid. So I didn't have to play all the classic mode as well. Wait, actually this time, I'm gonna break a real board. So, the video I found was actually this really poor quality video, but Metal Mario 991's saved the day. This is the glitch I was talking about. You go into story mode in the very first map in Hollywood, and all you have to do is get on top of this building and you go through the floor and finally you're in that skate shop I was talking about and someone's there and you press X to buy accessories and your game crashes. Now let's move on to a different glitch. This glitch is a little different and it involves this game right here, Spider-Man Mysterio's Menace. When I was a kid, my cousins and I would play Mario Bros. multiplayer and one day, I don't remember if it was on Yoshi's Island or Mario Luigi or maybe Mario Bros. 3, but one day we were playing multiplayer with two Game Boys and we had them linked up. And I took the game out of the Game Boy and then I put in Spider-Man without turning off the Game Boy. Then I turned it off and turned it on. And somehow the screen intro glitched where the Spider-Man game had Mario running across the screen coming out of a tube saying Spider-Man. So I tried to recreate the glitch, but unfortunately, I couldn't find much success. So I attempted it first with Wire Bros 3 and Yoshi's Island and you can see here I have both Game Boys play multiplayer and so what I did as a kid is basically took the game out and you can hear the Game Boy making all these crazy noises uh, don't attempt any of this you might break your Game Boy but I'm doing it for the sake of the video so then I inserted Spider-Man and I restarted my Game Boy but I couldn't get it to work, like I said. But basically while this game was starting, Mario 
the Mario pipe came out and ran around across the screen. And I ended up selling that game to GameStop, trying to trade it in for some extra cash or some games, so I don't actually have the game anymore. This copy is one that I rebought uh, now as an adult. But I tried different combinations of the games and taking the game out and maybe p potentially breaking my system, but I couldn't get that glitch to work. So I don't think that glitch was real. Maybe it's just those things as a kid where you have a vivid imagination, but if I do re recreate it, I'll make an update about it. It's a shame I couldn't get the Spider-Man glitch to work with the Mario Bros. multiplayer link, but I was able to get the Tony Hawk American Wasteland glitch from when I was a kid. Is there any glitches you remember or that you have come across that are unique to you? I mean, it's a good thing glitches aren't real, like, for example, like I got this Pokemon card, imagine it just went through things and glitched all over the place. Wait a minute, it just went through this thing, it just glitched. And uh oh! Damn it! Well, I might as well press X to gear up. <laughs> 